Welcome to episode two of Road to Kerbin. And uh, yeah, last time, as you can see on the screen, we managed to do a suborbital hop and we actually landed thanks to a tree. So, um, lots of science there. Let's go spend it. Right, so we've got all this wonderful science and uh, I'm just thinking, what do I want? I want to go into orbit. So we're definitely going to need some fuel tanks and things like that. Oh, the Reliance, nice. What's this? This is, uh, this is rubbish. I don't need this. I don't need ooh, radial decouplers. That could be nice. What's this? This is, uh, right, I'm going to get one of you because I quite like the idea of a, of, of a, a thingy decoupler. And then um, I want, I've got batteries, but I really want, yeah, solar cells. We'll have you. You're 15. What kill the aisles? Is that, is that me done? That's me done. So I'm going to try to go to orbit with, ooh, submersible things. Interesting. Radiators don't need that. Landing legs might be useful. Communitron. Parachutes. Ooh, I could come back. I could come back. Have I got, I've got a heat shield. All right. Let's go build a craft. And actually, no, let's accept some contracts first. Right. So contracts. We're going to get the orbit road one. We're going to establish a stable orbit. I quite like the fact there's two of those. What else have we got? Launch site decoupler radial. Please gives me a science. Gives me some money. Um, landed in flight. Du -du 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 -du. You know what? Let's do that. No, because I've got a craft limit size, haven't I? Let me not do that. Right, I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna go with this. Right, let's go build a craft. I think. Right here we are. What I have created is is horrible. It is uh, it's basically our artful one, but we've got rid of the stay putnik. We've put some new new. Ooh, they better activate these. Put some new new cores on the top. I've got two of them because you know two is better than one. Actually, it's because we've got four science things, and I want to actually do all the science as possible now. And then it's just the same craft, pretty much. We've got some solar panels. We've got some uh, some some antennas on there. I might want to ch chuck on just some permanent antennas, though, actually, while we're thinking, because I have a horrible feeling that those other ones will not be as good for uh, early flight. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick on... And I'm probably... Getting, it's probably overkill, but I know that stock uh, stock's a bit weird with antennas. So we'll stick two at the back there, just for, you know, ease of whatever. So I'm hoping that this swivel is actually up to the job. Um, let's give it a go. Right, let's get to the, uh, the the launch pad. Right, we are about to go. We're on the launch pad. We've got these missions to get rid of, but you know what? I'm just going to go first. Let's just go. Let's go. Um, and we're going to just start heading a little bit. Just a smidgen. A smidgen to 90 is what I want. I want a smidgen to 90. Um, I'm just going to hold it there. I'll get rid of these contracts. Um, and then I want to slow down a little bit because we don't need full thrust. We don't want to get too hot. We don't want to go too far, too fast. We just want to hold our speed in the thick atmosphere because number one, this is not a very stable craft. It's got a big lump on the top. Number two, I don't know how high I want to go. Right, so we're going to... Why is that say return? It didn't... Okay, we've got one contract we can complete, not two. Brilliant. Superb sea monsters. We thought we had two contracts, so we're going to get half the science. Brilliant. Anyway, so we're going up. So what I want to try and do is I just want to get into an orbit. I want to get into an orbit so that I can get my orbital parameters down. I can actually start to think about what we're doing. I think we're going to head to about, let's go to 100. 100's good. 100's a good target. I know that's definitely out of the atmosphere. Pretty sure it's out of the atmosphere. It's out of Kerbin's atmosphere, and Kerbin looks a lot, he's a bit uh, significantly smaller planet than this so we'll just uh, do that do that and then we're just going to turn off the engines right this is the most Kerbal of launches it's very very Kerbally launch so the atmosphere is obviously nice and thin right now and I would really like it if the nose would just start to head off down a little bit um, we'll speed up a bit because we've got two and a half minutes before I get anywhere now this is the old-fashioned Kerbal launch approach which is go up straight and then turn at the top so I need to um, turn the craft just a, a smidgen using its engine and that's going to put a bit of extra altitude on me and what I want to do then is slow it down and just pull it into that 90 because I, I, I don't I don't really care vastly how much um, how much uh, the inclination we've got but it would be nice if we can actually use it now obviously because we're going probes first 
um, we have a situation whereby if I don't have signal, we can uh, potentially have a problem. So I need to be careful about that. We're getting more science. Good, 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 good. I don't know how long I need to burn this for. I think I'm going to go for about 10 seconds before. I want to say 10 seconds. I want to say 10 seconds will be enough. I don't know how much delta V I've got. I've got almost no orbital speed, so it's basically hammering the hammering the throttle, as it were, right now. Right, we're, we're on it. We're on it, and we're on it, and we're on it. So, uh, just nose up a little bit. Give me a little bit of uh, a little bit, 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 bit prograde. A little bit above prograde would be nice. A little bit above prograde. I would really like to have the markers right now. That would make my life so much easier. I'm ready to shut off engine should I need to. Dump the nose down a bit. And... No. Oh, it's not bad. I, no, it's terrible, actually. But anyway. So, 100 by 130. That's not bad. Oh, look. There's a site there that I can't actually get signal from, but I could go and visit. That's cool. Um, so um, I still haven't looked in the um, I still haven't looked in the map view, and I'm going to not look in the map view. I might even, if I remember before I first ever go into it, I might show you it so you can see it's got that funny. I'm guessing it's got the Kerbal person that tells you welcome to the map view on it. Right. So we know that we are at 130 kilometers and a one or two kilometers and we know the radius of the planet we know our apoaps periaps so i can calculate my semi-major axis and i also know my orbital period so with that in mind i think we should do some for science and figure out just how big this uh well how how heavy this planet actually is so i'm going to do that and then we'll get back to it Right, thank you, past future me. Science time. So let's see. We have road. We've got a crafting orbit of road, um, which is not a perfect orbit. It's an ellipse. But that doesn't matter because it gives everything we need. We know how long it's going to take to orbit. We also know it's periaps and it's apoaps. So we can figure out this line across the middle of the ellipse, the longest line across the ellipse between periaps and apoaps. It's periaps, apoaps, adding on the radius twice because that's the diameter. If we then take that and we half it, we get something called the semi-major axis, okay, labeled on there. That's really important because that tells us a lot of things, but we can use it in our equations. Now, the orbital period we're looking at is about 2,151 seconds. There's a little bit more than that. We've got the semi-major axis because we've just done the maths on that. We're going to take that and using Kepler's third law, which talks about how long the period of orbit is, we're going to rearrange it so that the mass of the planet becomes key. M is mass, A is the semi-major axis, T is time, G is the gravitational constant. With that, we figure out that road is about ooh, mm, a two hundredth of the size of Earth and about half the size of Kerbin. It's quite small. Right, so we are back at the Space Center. I hope the for science section was at all interesting. So we now know roughly how heavy the planet is so we can start working out things like gravity and, and things like that. But anyway, let's have a look at what missions we've got. We have, oh, explore Armstrong. What is Armstrong? Is that, is that the planet? What is that? So it says, here at KSC, we like to think there's always open to exploring new frontiers. With this in mind, we want you to head out to Armstrong and see what we can see. Ooh, I'm having that. I don't have a date on it, do I? Nope, so I'm having it. Let's do that. We got anything else? Test, 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 test. Hall, 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 hall. Landed, launch site, flight. Uh, we do a launch site one. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Yeah, we can do that. Um, we turned that down last time, didn't we? Let's do it. Uh, no, let's not do it. Too many parts. Right. Let's have a look at the science situation. So we can have a look at the science and we can see we've basically got two options. I've got enough science for one of them. I can either go stability, which gives me some radial decouplers and inline reaction wheels, which would be useful. I don't have to do, oh, I get the pressure barometer thing. Ooh. Um, or I can go for this, which is general rocketry, which gives me some bigger engines. It gives me some more decouplers, more fuel tanks, which are nice. Oh, a liquid fuel tank of some sort, a little assist module, which uh, we've, we could use. And we've got some boosters and oh, a big thumper one. I quite like these little decouplers because I've got smallish engines in mind for a little probe or something. But you know what? Reaction wheels, small inline reaction wheels. Just I've got to love it. 
and that gives me a, a universal thing. It gives me radial decouplers. I think we go the bigger engines. I'm gonna go bigger engines. Right, let's do it. Right, we have the Artful 2, and I don't really know how to get to Armstrong at the moment. Um, I, I don't feel ready for it yet to actually have calculated this, there's another body uh, near us. Um, we could just aim straight at it, but I think uh, maybe next episode or later in this episode, we'll actually look at the, the, the map at some point. I feel as I need to upgrade the tracking station, things like that, but I do want to get some more science. So I think we're going to go and try and go high because I know that we can get science high. We've also got this might now, so I'm going to put, we've put that onto the Artful 2 to make the Artful 3. We'll save that, close that, right, and um, I'm wondering what else have we got, what can we do? Um, we do have a little payload assist, we could give ourselves a little boom of the start there, we've already got that uh, that thing already, so that would actually give us a little boop. Right, we're just going to fire this up and just see how far it goes, we're going to do a bit of a gravity turn, but we're not gonna we're not gonna mess around. We're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. So right, so we do not have anything for this apart from just going high, getting more science. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to just uh, fire it off. Better put the uh, the orientation control, the old SAS on, and uh, we're just gonna let it turn a little bit, turn a little bit. I don't even know if this has got gimbling, so that might have been a pointless turn. And we're just gonna turn a little bit and just keep it turning, I think. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna slow this down a bit. I don't wanna gain speed too fast because the longer we stay down here, the nicer actually, because we're getting some, oh, oh, forgot about the launch pad. I hope it's okay. It is, I think it's set to be destructible. So that's a little concerning for me. Um, I'll just rock it over a little bit more. The atmosphere is getting thinner. Um, so we know how heavy the planet is now. It's not it's not the, the heaviest of planets, is it? It's uh, it's it's not not lightest either. Obviously, you know there is it's very small and tight. Where's that? There you are. See, I think we could just though there's a definitely moving. So whatever that is is closer because it seems to be. Is that closer? Yeah, it must be. It's 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 revolving around us at a, a slower rate than I would expect. Is that right? Does that do how distance work? So I think that one's close. I think that one's far away and we're actually seeing it moving faster because it's further away, is that right? I got or parallax, parallax error and all that sort of stuff. Um, right, so we'll just keep turning over. This is very much like a, um, a classic uh, realism overhaul launch actually. We're just gonna pop ourselves down now, isn't that nice? Nice little level. Nice environment. The atmosphere is really nice and thin up here. Actually, we, I, I was surprised. I'm surprised we can actually turn this. If this was Earth, I'd be I'd be on fire right now. I think. So we we'll do that, and um, I suppose I can do this. Just just hit the power. Hit the power. Go down a little bit. Not the most efficient it burns, but you know. Don't wanna don't wanna go too high at this first ball, as it were. So we're just gonna fire, 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 fire. I could aim straight at it. I mean, if I was being optimistic, I could just aim straight at it and see what happens. Um, pull, pull up a bit. There we go. That would be quite funny if I'm actually... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So we're now in space. How wonderful. Um, we can have a quick uh, look at the old science situation. What have we got currently on this vessel? Oh, I can see a list of names there. I don't like that. Show only known bodies. Oh, I don't know any bodies. Oh, it's listed as Kerbal. Kerbin. I forgot about that. It's one of the things in the mod. I'm sure, I'm sure that there's probably a glitch with it that it does that. Because I know you, I believe you can change the name of them. Anyway, so we've got a bit of science that can come out of that. We've got a load of science that can come out of those for space high. Space, we don't have space high. Why don't we have space high? Oh, because I've turned that off. That is in space. And... We've got some on this flight already that obviously needs to be transmitted. And this one, I don't see anything. Kerbin. Oh, we get quite, oh, now that's interesting. That's worth us having in orbit because of that. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's just see what we're transmitting. So we go this thing and then is that, oh. It's got no signal, or oh, because I've got no communication systems, that's why. Data, what have I got? 
we're basically transmitting everything we've got straight away. Okay, so telemetry is good. Right, let's do this. Uh, let's uh, let's fast forward a bit. Do 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 do. Are we getting any closer to that? I don't know. To be fair, we're not going very fast. Woohoo! We still got signal. Yes, we do. Oh, hello. We are actually quite close to you, aren't we? Now, perhaps this is uh, significant. Okay. We got we got a lot of telemetry that's coming through. We've lost signal. Oh. Oh. Can we do this here? Is this possible? Does this help me? Nope. We have no signal. Oh, that's annoying because, of course, I'm willing to bet that our space center is on the other side of the planet. Uh, well, this is interesting. So, uh, why is the star wiggly? What's that? Why is that flashing? Right, so we can get a nice look at this actually now. Let's get these out of here. That's a good good image, isn't it? So we've got, that's that's road. Pretty sure that's road, that's where we came from. And that's, I'm guessing that's um, whatever it was called. Whatever the, the planetary moon body thing is that I'm supposed to be going to next. That's that. And then that looks like, is that something as well? Ooh, what's that? That looks big. Can I zoom? I can't zoom in. What are you? Can I? You can't cheat. I'm trying to cheat. Right. Let's uh, let's bring back the old hood, and we're just gonna see if uh, our pl if if road spins around at all. Is road going to spin? Is it going to turn and face me? Do I have any power? I've got electric charge. Got a lot of electric charge. Oh, be oh, oh, that's beautiful. That's cool. So that is an atmosphere because it's got a halo around it when it happens. Right. Oh, we got signal again. Where are we? We are something. We've got signal. So we're downloading all of our data right now. Brilliant. I think we've definitely missed that planet. So I'm not in planet, moon. I think it might be a binary system because it looks the same size. It looks so much like the same size, doesn't it? Because we'll have to figure that out. We could try and figure out the size of that uh, their uh, planetary body if we uh, if we want to, I suppose. And we can maybe do that in the next. It looks like it's about to hit <laughs> hitting road. That's funny. Right, we have no signal again. Um, and now we do again. Right. So yeah, you know what? It is smaller. I think road is a planet, and that is a moon. It's got to be, because look, we're closer to it, and it looks smaller. I hear so. If, even if it's a binary, road is the, is the so predominantly in control one. I'd imagine the gravitational center is around there. Is that? There's two suns. There's a second sun. Oh, it's a binary, it's a binary star system. Aha. Uh -huh. How does that navigate in Kerbal then? Right. We're going to leave this craft. We're going to just, uh, I think, is it, uh, is it got any more data to give us? It has no data to give us. It's done, so we're going to leave it. Um, it might return. We don't even know what it's orbit is. It says that it's apoapsis is minus something, so I don't even know where it's going. And I'm guessing these do not have a great range on them, so we're probably never going to see it again. But we'll leave that where it is, and, and hopefully we'll see it again. And until next time, have a great one.